Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today we will look at a paper by Milan Cirkovic. The text, Post Post Biological Evolution, explores the concept of post biological evolution and its extension into a post post biological realm. The idea of post biological evolution has become mainstream in discussions about the future. Figures like Ray Kurzweil and Nick Bostrom have imagined scenarios where human cognition and bodies are integrated with machines, where we control our evolution through advanced biotechnologies, nanotechnology and artificial intelligence. As Cherkovic puts it, the entire evolution of our species will become an intentional and controlled process. This is the promise of post-biological evolution. Total control over our biology, our minds, and eventually our fate. It seems final once we upload our consciousness or replace our organs with synthetic substitutes. There is no going back, right? But Cherkovic suggests that this might not be the case. Cherkovic was born in Serbia. He is a research professor at the Astronomical Observatory of Belgrade and a research associate of the Future of Humanity Institute at Oxford University. His academic path is impressive. With a PhD in Physics and a Master's of Science in Earth and Space Sciences from State University of New York at Stony Brook and a Bachelor of Science in Theoretical Physics from the University of Belgrade. Milan's primary research interests spanned a wide range of fields, including astrobiology, where he delves into the galactic habitable zone, SETI studies and catastrophic episodes in the history of life. He also explores risk analysis, focusing on global catastrophes, observation selection effects and the epistemology of risk. Furthermore, his work in the philosophy of science touches on anthropic principles, the philosophy of physics and future studies. One of Cherkovich's most compelling ideas is the indistinguishability thesis. The notion that as technology advances, it becomes indistinguishable from the natural environment. Advanced civilization, human or extraterrestrial, may eventually create technologies so seamlessly integrated into the universe that we can no longer tell the difference between what is natural and what is artificial. He writes, It follows that, from an external perspective, it is very difficult, if not impossible, to be certain about intentional artificial origin of any particular signal. Imagine planets where trees, oceans and even ecosystems are filled with embedded computing systems, biological life merged with synthetic. This convergence could reshape the way we search for extraterrestrial civilizations, as Cherkovic hints. Let's try to break down Cherkovic's central argument. Premise 1. Post-biological evolution is widely accepted as the future of human and extraterrestrial civilizations, replacing biological processes with technological ones. Premise 2. This post-biological phase is not necessarily the final stage of evolution. Premise 3. Technological advancements may lead to reintegration with natural systems, blurring the lines between the artificial and the natural. Premise 4. This reintegration can be metaphorically understood using the Klein bottle, where the inside and outside of evolution merge. Conclusion. Post-post-biological evolution, where technology and nature are indistinguishable, could be the next phase of evolution. Cherkovic introduces a fascinating metaphor, the expanding Klein bottle. This topological model illustrates how post-biological and natural processes could eventually reintegrate. The Klein bottle is a structure with no distinct inner or outer boundary, 
symbolizing the seamless blending of technology and nature. We could conceive each cycle as a process in which a smaller subsection of this scope generates the rest, including itself. As civilizations evolve, their artificial technologies could loop back, becoming so advanced and widespread that they appear as part of the natural order. This might be the next phase of evolution beyond mere post-biological existence, a post-post-biological stage. The argument is logically consistent and thought-provoking as well, though it remains speculative. While Cherkovich provides plausible premises based on current technological trajectories, the leap to post-post-biological evolution relies heavily on conjecture about the future capabilities of technology. Additionally, the argument assumes that advanced civilizations will follow a similar path of evolution, which may not be universally applicable. The lack of detailed ethical exploration or counter-arguments regarding potential downsides of such evolution is a gap in the argument. Nonetheless, the discussion provides valuable insights into potential future evolutionary pathways and raises significant questions about the future of both humanity and technology. Djokovic briefly addresses speculative fringe possibilities such as transcendence to higher dimensions or pure energy beings, but dismisses these as beyond the scope of rational analysis. One possible objection that remains underexplored is whether the reintegration of biological and technological processes is even plausible given current technological and biological constraints. Additionally, the author does not delve deeply into ethical concerns surrounding post-biological evolution, which could also be a point of critique. The journey beyond post-biological evolution is speculative, but Djokovic's paper challenges us to think further than most futurists have dared. What lies beyond the fusion of technology and biology may not be a sharp break with nature, but a deeper reintegration. As we search for extraterrestrial intelligence and imagine our future, it's worth considering that the line between the artificial and natural may one day disappear. If you liked this video, please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.